Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to play two videos that are from the McDonald's. The first one was when I was on television and I corrected the lady with my name. It's on the grainy side because that's how it was when I got it. And then I'm going to play another video that is from 2005 and in that one you will have all the information about me <laughs> that you'll want. It has my name, my full name, and where I live. And it's, you know, I, it's okay with me because I was put out there in 2005. Everybody in who knows where knew where I was from. And then in the next couple of days, I will try to, or another day, I plan to put out another video. Because I, I was... I'm just shocked at how much McDonald's stuff I really have. I have a few things when I went to Vegas also that I will do at another time. But I hope you enjoy the little video of me. And I get nervous when I'm in front of the camera. And I, I can see it in the first one especially. The second one I think I'm a little more relaxed. But it was going on for a long time so they they actually got the parts that were probably less nervous. And so it, I hope you enjoy, and I'll I'll check in when it's done playing. Let's go look at the video. McDonald's Crew Person of the Year, representing the entire East Coast. So congratulations! Thank you so you much. You are so welcome. This is quite an honor. One person. There are only four taken in the entire United States. You're our representative from this entire quadrant. So you must be doing something pretty special. Well, I hope I am. <laughs> What is it based on, Mary? What, what did they tell you you won for? Well, I, I really just am being myself um, when I'm at McDonald's, and I do what I like to do. Mm -hmm. And apparently what I'm doing is, is um, making everybody happy. I guess and, so. And, and you're working down in the Fredonia area, yes, is that I'm right? Yes, I'm in Fredonia McDonald's. So when yeah. you go into Fredonia yeah. McDonald's, you have to come on in and make sure you say hi and congratulations to Mary. But you Mary know what, Grace. Mary Grace, yeah. if you're a pretty special person, because I understand that you've fostered kids along the yeah. way, you ran a daycare, you've been a pretty yeah. special person for yeah. an awfully long time. For 20 years I had the foster children and I was a therapeutic foster home and I also um, did daycare for 13 years. Wow. Yeah. What do you like about working at McDonald's? Well, when you're at McDonald's, I get to be with all the people that I have worked with in the past. Mm -hmm. um, with working in the county home, I'm with the the senior citizens of our community and with the foster care I work with the teenagers so I get to see all the teenagers and be with them and with the daycare I'm with the preschoolers oh, and, the, great. and the little kids and I love all of them they're all yeah. so exciting to be around. Well it's a big family down there in yes, Fredonia isn't yes. it? Yes when I walk into work it is like going to your relatives. Isn't house that great? Still. Everybody wishes for something like that. Oh, now yeah. you now you have that experience. Have and you've got some great prizes, right? Mary oh Grace? yes, I did. Oh yes, they <laughs> sent me to Florida, and they sent my husband with me, and all expenses paid. And they had a limo meet me at the oh. airport with a sign saying my name on it. And um, I also will be going to um, Las Vegas, and oh, my boy. husband will get to go with me there, and all expenses paid. And I also um, won two thousand five hundred dollars. That's terrific. And I got to be on your show. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, right at the top. Thank you, Mary Grace. That was, was awfully sweet of you. Remember, Mary Grace is working down in the Fredonia area, so go on in, shake her hand, congratulate her, and you're going to get some great service as well, and that's what it's all about. Fabulous. Mary Grace, have you tried the new salad? I have, and it's absolutely delicious, and I like it without the dressing See? for myself. Yeah. I like the glaze that's on it. It's nice to have it's that option, but you, know, you find that the glaze is, is yeah, usually just delicious. enough, it's and delicious. that's a great option. Yeah. When do you get to go on your next trip? I go in July, July 22nd. Wow. Yeah, pretty Would I be able to do a McDonald's wrap? Sure. Pizza? Okay. Mary Grace, everybody. And, and when we get to the ba da da if you say, I love it. Okay, love go it. for it. Okay, so you said you were hungry and you wanted to eat, so you turned your feet to the place in the street where the people are friendly, the food tastes great, I promise, not to make you wait. Order fish, burger fries, spicy chicken or your favorite pie, a parfait cone or a shake. Now, don't these things all sound great? Then there's salad, fresh and crisp, and two hot soups. It's hard to pick. Let's not forget the happy meal with the all-white nuggets a real great deal breakfast lunch dinner too why not let us make it for you then there's always in between you're never going to find a finer cuisine at mcdonald's ba -da 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 -da. Oh, i'm loving it yeah. there we go <laughs>
Thank you. Once they heard that, they made you the employee of the year. Huh? Well, <laughs> Mary Grace yeah. was one of 300,000 people, and wow. she represents five thousand McDonald's just on the eastern part of the United States. Wow. We have only selected four people. Owner operators nominate and it's all based on her mm -hmm. exceptional customer service. Wow. And yeah. I understand that where you're going in Las Vegas, all of the a, a lot of the owners will be there, right. right? You're gonna meet a lot of the owners. All of the restaurant managers mm -hmm. from across the country. There should be close to thirteen thousand restaurant managers that will all be honoring Mary Grace. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? No, that's terrific. <laughs> Mary Grace, congratulations. Thank you're you. the best too. Thank my name is Mary Grace Giambra Bari. Um, my title for McDonald's is Hostess, Public Relation and Marketing. I'm from Brockton, New York, and I have a, I've been married for 25 years. I have four children, um, one boy and three girls. When I started having more, my other two children, then I opened the daycare, and I um, did that for a month short of being 13 years. And I also am a foster parent, was a foster parent for 20 years, which I took the teenage children. I was a therapeutic foster home for Chautauqua County. We had uh, over 100 children. Um, most of them were the children that should have gone to institutions, but because of the therapeutic program, I only had a few that had to go to the, to the institution. Most of them made it through and got to go back home. And a lot of them visit me today. I, and they call me their grandma to their kids, even though I'm, I feel like I'm too young to be their grandma. But Some of the things that I like to do is um, I DJ dances. And I do karaoke with the schools and organizations that can't afford a, a good um, or an expensive. I'm good, but I'm not expensive. And um, so they have good music. and. Um, and I get out and dance. They call me the D dancing DJ diva is what they call me. The kids do. <laughs> Once a month I go to um, about eight different businesses and I try to choose businesses that probably nobody would even think of. I do the normal that everybody sees, the ones that everybody knows those businesses are there. But there's little businesses, the one-man bands and the two or three uh, that nobody seems to know they're there. I bring them Be Our Guest coupons and they are so happy when I walk through the door and I say, hi, I'm Mary Grace and I'm from McDonald's and I'd like you to be our guest. And they go, what's what? And I go, I want to give you some free coupons. And they're so excited. Oh, nobody's ever done this, you know, or they haven't had. And I, so I bring to all and they love it. They say, can you run this pull out? I take it as you run the pull out. So I really run. And I, I, I pretend I'm in a marathon. And I go zoom off across the parking lot. And um, they, they think it's good. In fact, when I get a, they tell me the customer is not too happy out there. They, you know, and I run out and I give them their food and I smile and I tell them to have a good day. And they look at me and they, and they actually perk up. They actually have a, and I'm thinking, they're not grouchy. <laughs> They're happy. So it's, I think it has an impact on the people when they see me come running. Making the people happy, making sure that their experience here is a, an enjoyable, fun, want to come back kind of feeling. Um, and the way I do that is when they come through the doors, I try real hard to greet them. If I see somebody is walking in with um, canes or a walker or I run to the door. I really run. What it was is I was supposed to have gone home and I was talking to a man at this table near the front and another man came by that was had his hands up by his throat and he was kind of staggering and I noticed he was choking is what I uh, by his hand. So I turned him around and I put my arms around him but he was a very tall man. He was about six foot six foot one. I'm only five feet and he was very large in fact my arms I wasn't sure if they were going to go around him and I did the Heimlich method on him and the food came out and he he threw up a little bit and then he went back to his seat and I checked on him a couple times to make sure he was okay and he was fine and there was a doctor in here at the time and he came up to me and he said that I had done the Heimlich method correct and that I should be very proud because I, the, he goes, the guy was on his way out. He says, you may not know it, but he said the guy was on his way out. 
The teens, you have to approach them not as a group of wild Indians that have just walked through and you're going to make them stop doing what they're doing. And you, go, you approach them on a level that makes them feel like they're important to you and you're glad to have them here. And first thing you know, the kids are um, picking up their garbage for you or throwing things away, making sure they leave their tables good. I um, sometimes will say to them, if they're real loud, I'll say, would you like to hear a McDonald's rap? And then the whole room will go quiet because now they're going to listen and they'll, go, they'll be yelling to each other, hush, hush, I want to hear this. And so then I go into my rap, which is, so you said you were hungry and you wanted to eat. You turned your feet to the place on the street where the people are friendly, the food tastes great, I promise not to make you wait. Order fish, burger fries, spicy chicken or your favorite pies, a parfait cone or a shake. Now, don't these things all sound great? Then there's salad, fresh and crisp, and two hot soups. It's hard to pick. Let's not forget that happy meal with the all-white nuggets. It's a real great deal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, too. Why not let us make it for you? Then there's always in between. You're never going to find a finer cuisine at McDonald's. ba 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 I'm loving it. And they just love it and they clap. And, they, and So like the kids, if you treat them with dignity and respect, you don't have the chaos and the commotion that could have been. I, and when, they appro when they come in, everyone in my eyes, whether they're old, young, big, small, it doesn't matter. And people are interesting. And you love talking. And I like talking to the people. In fact, some guy told me today I'm pretty chatty. <laughs> Well, that's the McDonald's videos for today. I hope you enjoyed. And I, you'll get so tired of that rap. It's, it's been played. It's played twice in this one. And if, you, if I still put the one on with the radio station, you'll be getting it again. So we'll see. You tell me if you want to hear it or not with the beat um, for the radio station one. If not, I can leave that out and I can just put the intro of the radio station when I was at the station instead of the rap along with it. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.